lot about this down <laughs> in New Orleans this past weekend as Kyrie Irving uh, expressed his beliefs that the world is not round but flat, mm -hmm. right? So our producers want us to fill in the blank. They just want to know where we uh, stand on this. The world is blank. Uh, I'm going to say round, oddly enough, right? <laughs> And, and, and this is what Kyrie Irving should use, and, and maybe this will help understand for him why it is round, because every 365 days, late May, early June, the Cavaliers have been ending up in the finals. It's happened once. It's happened twice. <laughs> it's going to happen a third time. So that's how he can judge why, uh, you know, as we rotate around the sun as an Earth, as a planet, a round planet, that's how he can tell that, uh, yes, indeed, it's not flat, it's round. You yeah. don't believe in rotation? I don't believe that the Earth is round. Oh, boy. The Earth is 100% flat, and dinosaurs do not look the way we think dinosaurs okay. do. It is all digitally contrived. I am completely with Kyrie Irving on this. And listen, I was raised in public school education. I went to the University of Maryland, a public school. And public school is not as good as private school. I will go ahead and admit that. I've been told that my entire life. Kyrie Irving went to Duke, a very prestigious private school where the education levels are much higher than anything that you can find in public school. They learn incredible amounts of information there that blows anything that you could learn in a public school out of the water. Of course I'm gonna go with Kyrie Irving on this one. He went to Duke University. It is the best school that you could possibly go to, the highest level of education. They teach there that the world is flat and that dinosaurs do not look the way that we believe dinosaurs do. Oh, I'm going with Kyrie Irving. I agree 100%. The world is flat. Oh boy. Uh, let me just show you this. Kyrie Irving from the three point contest. A lot of people on Twitter said that his shot was flat. By the way, if you are due, you are rotation. so embarrassed by this. This is ridiculous. Oh wait, so you don't believe what you just said there? No, of course not. Oh, I, I thought was... you were like trying to campaign no, for Secretary of Education or something. I'm trolling. <laughs> I thought that was uh, maybe your speech that you were going to present it to Congress. It is ridiculous. And if I'm Duke University, I'm absolutely putting out a statement that it says, uh, we do not we do not condone this type of behavior and spewing these alternative facts and fake news. I mean, poor Jeremy Lin came out and was like, hey, listen, I went to Harvard and I know that the, the world is flat, LOL. And he's got to troll him too because this is ridiculous. This is so funny that he's even putting this out there. Uh, and I love that people have just completely jumped all over it. Uh -huh. Kyrie, after the podcast, said, that's the only thing you got out of the podcast? I sat down for an hour and a half and talked all about all of my beliefs. And the one thing you got out of it was that the world is flat? We're like, yes, because that's an absurd thing to say. So, of course, that's what we took out of it. Yeah. Although there are some people out there who have theorized that he purposely said that to uh, challenge what is reported and what, it, what we have uh, been told, for example, in our educational process. So there's some interesting theories regarding that, uh, what he really meant to say in terms of, like he meant what he said, he knew it would get that kind of reaction, but he meant to do that because he wanted to challenge people in terms of uh, your beliefs and, and what you've been taught and not necessarily everything that you taught is the truth. I 100% agree with that. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, so if you believe that angle, then it makes perfectly good sense. He doesn't really otherwise, believe the world is flat. He just otherwise, I would say this. Take everything at face value. If you, whoever wrote the screen screenplay for uh, Hidden Figures, you've got your sequel there. Uh, right there.